This is one of the few movies I'm not sure I have all the footage of. Because this game has a really great design. If you die, you get a checkpoint and it erases all the cinema footage from before and it restarts recording from that point. So that's kind of, well, it sucks, in my opinion. Let's see, did I, well actually I think I, just, yeah, this is the beginning, I think. Yeah, doing the standard procedure. I usually find it more effective to start with the lower people, build up Nimpo and uh, Ultimate Technique. Because in Trials you charge Ultimate Technique a lot faster, meaning if you kill two apes with it, Oh, that was really stupid. If you kill two eggs with it, you get a free ultimate technique by it, and you can just chain that shit together. So there's no real reason to start focusing on them right away. Even though I am absolutely doing that, I'm such an idiot. Come on, boy. At least fo practice what you preach, motherfucker. I'll do a little nympho to get out of trouble. But yeah, uh, what was I talking about in the previous video? Um, Wrath of the Titans. Whoa. Pretty nice movie. Like, action was cool, I'm not that, I'm one of those guys who's not really big on Greek mythology, I never really followed it. It always seemed like, fun, but not my thing, if you know what I mean. But it was still pretty interesting, especially in the portrayal of Ares, like in one, no, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but this is like this one scene where he shows up and fucking falls from the sky and destroys everything. Oh. Steel on bone. Practically destroys everything in his path. Pretty cool. But they really make him feel like this powerful god of war, which I enjoyed. And the CG was pretty cool. Acting was pretty decent. And we also saw a trailer for the Battleship. I thought it was another Transformers movie, but it turns out it wasn't. But it's just about a ship that's fighting a sort of Transformer-like thing. Looked pretty, pretty damn cool for an action flick. So I'm thinking about seeing that. I also want to see Chronicle. Like I never used to be that big into movies, but now I'm like, yeah, you know what? There's some pretty cool stuff out there, so I might as well check it out. I wanted to see John Carter as well and The Hunger Games, but from what I've heard, they're not that good. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, Hunger Games, amazing, 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 amazing. But from everything I'm hearing, it's a bunch of crap. So, well, I think it really depends on who you're listening to. And, uh, I'm actually almost done with Master Ninja. Thank God, because that was, was one of the most atrocious shit I've ever played. I managed to get past day four, and it is a, 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 I don't really remember who said it. But he said, if you pass day four on Master Ninja, you, they might as well give you the, the achievement because you've beaten it. Because day four is like the hardest part. And I completely agree. There are parts in that game, at least on that day, that I'm sure that they never play tested. Like the amount of enemies they throw at you. They might as well rename the game. I've been making that joke a lot. Ryu Hayabusa's longbow training. Kind of a reference to Link's crossbow training. This was a piece of shit game. Like, there's no end. Uh, over, oh yeah, in this part you'll see me still struggle with these guys. About, I think it's in leader 4, which I'm pretty proud I actually beat solo. I think I'm on like leaderboard 14 of the 14 people that actually beat it solo. So that's pretty cool, but yeah, the easy way to just deal with them is to head stomp them and then Izuna, because they're weakened. Holy shit, those bombs! Seriously, this game without iframes would be impossible. Uh, iframes being invincibility for those who are really fested in action game jargon. I uh, just kill them by the budget. I do kind of like they throw bombs on instead of those incendiary shurikens. I never really liked all of them. Kind of annoying. Also, play the. Wait, uh, weighted, sort of short for uh, what's it called, but then Dutch. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus on the Vita. At least a friend of mine played it because he has a Vita now. Pretty darn cool. I've never played Part One. Why? I have no idea. I never really. It's kind of hard to find a copy of it, at least in our country. 
So I'm kind of thinking about getting it after I finish this in Mass Effect. Because I still forget the Mass Effect 3 Platinum. And it's probably going to be a bit difficult, but I think I can manage. Especially with me having a couple of weeks off now. I still got to do a lot, but there's more time for gaming. I was going to get into Resident Evil 4 again. I think what I'm going to do afterwards. I have no idea. That's be something I can easily record, and that's also fun to watch. Because I was thinking Dragon Age, but that shit's a bore to watch. Especially on Nightmare, that's just me planning stuff and then seeing it not come to fruition. Because, yeah, in that game, you got like this perfect plan, but it never goes according to it. But that's also kind of its charm, in my opinion. Ultimate Technique! Ultimate Technique! Seriously, how many waves are there? I have no idea. Steel on Bone! I almost died there. But that shit does a lot of damage. What's after this? Dogs? I don't remember. Oh. Well, um, that was this challenge. Hmm. Am I going to cancel the video? No, not really. Um, I'm looking at a poster of Nintendo's history. I actually ripped that out of a magazine. Pretty cool. Why am I talking about this? I have no idea. 